Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, where if you missed the dog pile last time, we have, well, let's just, well, yeah, let's start here. This is as good a place as any. We did just finish a surface battle and got a victory for the glorious kingdom of Terra, who we are still working with, even though I've said off and on that it's probably time for me to end my commission with them. Um, we have helped them expand quite a bit. They should still be friendly with us. Uh, Diable um, should still hate us. Yeah, they're like super vengeful. Well, that's that's a little bit of a problem. Though, if I were to leave the Kingdom of Terra, and it would be because I wanted to try to steal blueprints from one of their planets later, I think I would still would be wanting to try and do an alliance with a, something like the Panmed and this whole group so I could get uh, Mikoyan, Shadow Yards, those people in together. But that's not today's issue. Today's issue is that we have a follow-up mission here. There are some good little goodies at home, which is very nice because we need to be taking contracts to get our money back in the banana stand. There is a terraforming rig over in the correct direction as well. From what? The, wait, what? It's in the Alpha Deeric system. That's right next to Green. Are you serious? Okay, yes, we are definitely, we are definitely going there. Because uh, one of my goals was to actually go and turn myself around and go we have our fleet right here and this is all well and good but we have a lot of custom production going and you can see that some of it is building ideally and i don't usually spend this much time here uh, do we have any production reports to speak of maybe 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 I'm singing the abc song in my head production still no production because of lack of funds well that's going to change in just a minute isn't it because we got paid a little bit of money because um, turns out Kingdom of Terra wanted to pay a premium to help get two Alpha Cores. I swiped the Alpha Cores, so I got almost nothing. Don't worry, though. They got a planet that uh, Miko Yen maybe is going to try to get back. But they also invaded Wand. Not Miko Yen. Oh, God. Oh, man. I am just confusing all of my factions now. Anyway, this is where we're supposed to go. It's Diable Avionics that is really on their left foot and their right foot. Well, they still have their original system that they originated in. Um, so yeah, we'll just uh, peace out of here. If I don't accidentally turn on and off something while staring at my hyperspace beacon thing. We also have some other contracts over here. These are in the wrong direction, although these are the kind of things I should be fighting. We'll instead try to go do the thing where we help the pirates. Also, while we're here, just so we can learn episodes from the past, let's look at our fuel range. Our fuel range is really good. One of the reasons for that is that I was running a whole bunch of this series with some tiny drams. We got even just a slightly larger dram here that can hold a little bit more. For some reason, the fuel capacity is listed as a little low. I don't know why, but we're here and it's fine. I forgot we got a space burrito. But yeah, our, our fleets here is pretty lightweight given what we're doing. We have some other big ships that are coming, and once we hit level 20, we're going to be able to upgrade our fleet again and play the wonderful game of, oh my god, this is really expensive to maintain. Where's our income coming from? But where our income is coming from, one of my goals for the Alpha Core, I'm just bouncing between things all at once, is to finally give myself a break, since this is a size 6 colony. If we throw an Alpha Core in here, this will go up, this will go up, it'll all... It'll all be really good. Now, I don't have, like, alpha cores to, like, spread around like I'm at a club throwing singles. So I can't just throw an alpha core into everything. But it's a start. And it gives me an opportunity here to finally colonize Hantu Raya, which we've talked about doing for a while. And then that'll give us all four systems, because wouldn't it be awkward if I just ended up... That's the wrong direction. Uh, wouldn't it be awkward if I ended up having somebody else colonize one of my ships and... Well, I just had a bunch of weird sounds in the background. There's there's weird cat sounds. There's weird phone sounds. We got a lot of contracts here, including another one in the banana stand over here at uh, Beta si uh, Simonemon. 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 Something. Okay, so we did not pick the uh, optimal route through here. So hopefully we don't get blasted. Ooh, these guys don't like us, but we can totally take them. All right, so here we are. It's a Reuter task force. Huh. I remember when you used to be our friends. 
So let's accept the comm request. Halt, Captain. We have evidence that you are smuggling resources on behalf of a criminal organization. You are to prove your innocence in this matter by unloading all such material. No. So we don't have the claimed commodities. Only work if you have less than the required number of units for two or more commodities. So good news. We have everything. Better news. The Reuter Union that we are just regular neutral with now. So that's a, talking about dropping off the deep end here. We have a bunch of ranches. So that's fun. We have some gambits, and then we have some smaller ships. This is this is definitely going to be interesting. Let's engage. Let's continue. We're going to send everything out. I'm not sure if these stars are busted because of updates or if we are really just about to be in a lot of trouble. Um, it's possible that we are about to be in a lot of trouble. And if that's the case, then LOL. Um, I know Acro was... Uh, upset a little bit because oh no another fleet wipe which is totally a legitimate concern here but this time if it's the reuter union that does me dirty oh man we gotta we'd have to go for revenge but we should be able to take this famous last words what is the tagline and the what i had on my channel as the game of the year last year marvel's guardians of the galaxy which is a really good game but their little advertising tagline was that we've got this Maybe. Ooh, could I use that for the title? Will that actually um, cause a copyright strike just because of the name? I doubt it. It's just a phrase. Got this perhaps. Got this maybe. Definitely maybe. Possibly no. Okay, well, we, can't, we can't hold this. So we're just going to ditch it. And um, here we go. Should be able to get everybody to gather up here. And hopefully... We can wolf pack tactics the crap out of these Reuter ships because one of the things I definitely want to do before I go to the terraforming rig, I should probably go home and just get my ships together. And I know I've been doing kind of a loose count on um, how. Ooh, good show by Tony there. Just winning the 1v1. Um, everyone kind of looking and cheering them on. So we got another person looking for a beacon over here. And uh, I don't know what you're doing, but please, please form with the fleet. And while we're here, let's just send a second line up here. We're going to push really hard into their side. And we're going to see if I am going to rue the day I underestimated the Reuter Union. A faction where at the beginning of the game, I was desperate to get any kind of weapons that would be good at fighting derelict ships. And the Reuter Union sold none of them. Their holes are good. We saw the fire starter before as the sandstorm. I'd love to get another um, fire starter just to rebuild the sandstorm. That's one of those things where I was hoping to get one of their um, blueprints and we didn't get it. So here is... Okay, we have their main engagement fleet, I guess. Um, Ugg here is having some problems because he let himself get stuck out alone. I think it's time that we got a little serious here so let's um we're gonna engage and see where this starts us and maybe rear end the seer a little bit wow that's a we are apparently giving each other space hugs and not in a good way so let me put up my tiny ass shield let's see if one we can 1v1 somebody in a much larger hole than me that's a start so I am getting shoved here. Let's let's be clear. I am trying to position myself much better than I'm at, and I am not doing a good job because somebody keeps pushing me. Okay, look at that. Look at that amazing micromanagement of the shield. You wouldn't know it's me piloting the ship because I don't have those stick skills. Not that I play this game with a stick anyway. But if I did, I definitely wouldn't have those. See, look, I just... I had an open shot on a dead bird, and I missed. And now we're about to have Mikoklo get in my line of fire. Fortunately, we don't got to worry about it. Okay, so that's a start, and that's a start. And now we have... Um, I have some concerns that um, we lost a ship. Probably should have been paying a little more attention. All right, we're here now. Let's send... You know what we're going to do. We're going to send all you guys down here to the big boy. 
and we're going to change this to an engage order. But we're going to send you guys over to here just so we can push in. Because these ships don't look nearly as big in person. Now, interestingly, you may not realize this because I kind of played with the 2D stuff a little bit, but the ships that I'm fighting are the ones that I featured in the initial art for like ma trying to make it look like a 3D-ish planetary battle over um, the Reuter Union base. So we're getting the surrounded here and it's I'm not liking that very much. Okay, shields up. Do not want to get um, trounced here. But we should be able to take this if our other ships were just a touch faster. All right, I think we can go full assault. Yeah, we're at two stars now. There must be something that doesn't always update. It's an interesting position to be in where you guys are just piling up and I can do the extra AOE damage. Can we fire Project Casimir, please? Are we just in a constant state of charging? Or are we gonna do the biggest Kamehameha in the history of I just destroyed Vlir Jamus because she flew in, in my line of fire. And let's be clear here, I was charging up forever to get that shot off. But no, the shot that goes off is the one where my ship's in front, so. Whoops a doodle. But we are kind of going 2v1 versus a lot of other ships. Granted, my, uh, my control's getting taken out a little bit by this annoying thing but technically we are punching above our weight and that was right in the right in their booty as is that one so wow that's two shots where I have just absolutely whiffed on hitting other things here and okay it should not have probably phased there but it's fine let's um let's let's speed up a little bit so my ship's aim, I could be a little, I could be a little better with that, but it's fine. So these tiny things, we should be able to laser a lot of them down. We got some cleanup as well. So the enemy fleet's defeated, but we haven't totally wiped them out yet. But this whole Reuter Union trying to take me on, not always going to be the thing here. So they got a few things. Let's pursue them. Second in command can handle it. We'll send some of our speedsters out. We'll send our uh, f f aggressive assault ships. Didn't actually get everyone. Jane runs away. All right, so we did lose the uh, Glansworth Regalia, and we did lose this one. It's fine. What was that name? Tachyon and on and on and on. We can't actually pick up some of the ranch assault carries. What I was saying is that. These are what I featured in the um, opening of the game here. Assault carrier, 22 points. Medium missile, small ballistic, four fighter bay. Let's take one. Screw it, why not? Spoils of war and all that. Uh, relationship with the Reuters, minus five. Even though they attacked us. This is, this is the way of Star Sector. We need to make sure we don't lose our required materials here, so... We're supposed to be above and beyond. We have six story points to spend. We need to mothball this ship. Although, tell me more about yourself. It has expanded deck crew. Huh, as a S mod. I should have paid more attention to that. And it's got some breaker drones. It's got a lot of guns. I really like the combined arms field of it. It does only have 100 deployment points, so that's a little bit of a problem. So there's someone delivering fuel. That's that's not great for them. And we just need to get down to Beta Gendusera, or whatever it's called, before we run out of supplies. And you are still trying to take us on. So let's um I am I am pressing and holding shift. And we just got nailed. Like, apparently. Okay. I am I could take this fight, but I'm skipping it. Um No, we're gonna take the fight. I did not wanna I did not wanna do this. Okay, we're not taking that ship in. So I think for some reason what happened was that my momentum 
was turned around when I was like flying. So like I re went back into space. I was holding was holding the button to try to go slower. And for some reason I got launched. Did I not launch my own ship? Okay, well we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Let's um let's watch uh we bought it new. Let's see what you can do. Out in outer space. Okay, let's just make sure we have the speed up here, so. Here we go. We got a bunch of little ships and we got um some other stuff here, so if you'll remember, this was the former pilot of one of our drills that was famous for getting the drill killed all the time. That's not entirely her fault. So we'll see what we got here. Because right now we kind of need to work as a team. And right now we are all over the place. Let's get you guys over here. And let's get you guys on this one. And you all... Let's have both of you help here. Let's get everybody together. Let's stop this mess. This is a fight we should be able to take. Alright, so lots of lots of chain guns. Not a lot of range on this stuff, but that's um That is a lot of kinetic damage. Wow, between a uh, paper plate face guy who I still need to find a um place that will actually let me Oh my god, you know what? That um that planet that I took over for the um, dinosaur people, definitely, I could finally change his face. After almost 50 episodes, there we go, so that's, that's working pretty nicely. Just the remnants are not ready for a lot of kinetic damage. The downers that we gotta watch our supply counts. But I seriously was not meaning to get launched across time and space by a giant nebula. And for some reason I was, so... Good show over here. It's a, it's a really ambitious glimmer. It would be a shame if I didn't have some tiny ships of my own. Alright, so by the numbers. Ship recovery, we did lose the C word. We're not going to recover anything else. So we're good on supplies. It's metals that we need a thousand of, right? I'm I'm half to bit no, I'm not gonna recover any of these. I could recover the glimmers. Like I'm I have I have the ones that can actually be crewed. This is fine. Um ninety-nine bottles of wreckage on the wall. Let's check and make sure I didn't screw this up one more time. So accepted not that one. So we need 300 supplies. We'll be fine. And we can resupply at Grame here before too long. I'd love to do that before going over here, but um, we do have a terraforming rig in 71 days to get to it. So there's we're not made of guarantees. So let's try this again. Maybe, maybe okay, we're over cargo capacity by 30. That'll... That'll change in a second, so we're fine. Like we've got we've got a lot of repairs to do. So we are gonna be in a little bit of heat here. Although if we actually succeed in um, helping them build a base. Okay. Didn't apparently didn't need to waste all those materials. Alright, so where are we dropping this off exactly? Deliver the resources in 185 days. Giant reward. Let's see what's over here. Alright. So let's say, what's that? But that's literally something I just pooped out. So, okay, we have an inactive gate, so we can actually activate the gate, right? And there's our target location. Well, where's the where's the inactive gate? Okay, it's too far away for it to be interesting. Okay, we got another fleet over here. So let's see, can we successfully build a base? We have target location, target fleet. Okay, there's nothing here yet. You need to find the construction fleet and deliver the materials. Well, that's you. Open a comm link. Deliver the resources. You have the money, right? 
Right. Good thing we don't have an optional, hey, look, the pirates double cross you. Okay, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, hell yeah. Now let's roll up our sleeves and get started. So they assume a neutral posture. We're friends with the pirates again. And we have a, fr wait, we're friends. We are friends with the pirates. Never knew I'd see the day. We're favorable with the pirates even. Can we take a pirate commission? Do I get a tricorn as part of that? So let's see, we should be fine here. Are the pirates going to get mad at me for trading on the black market? Don't know for sure. Pirate military. What the F? We get some pirate blueprints as well. So this is fine. We're not even going to raid their base. They're just right here right now. So let's open the comm directory. We just have Darg, the officer... And then, um, of a amateur or armature wing blueprint, not for 40,000. All right, so there we go. Where fleet is over fuel. Oh man, I always do this. I just was not paying attention again. And we spent too much money again. But I'm excited because we're, we're rolling in money, and why would I ever be irresponsible about that? 92, 95, 100. So we got plenty of time to go to Green. See if we can pick up some stuff from the custom production queue. And then head on back. So just like that, we have... Um, oh, we got a little patrolling lumen. That's fun. So another friendly pirate base. And we've actually been here. We could totally fuck with Brighton, I guess, but... All right, so there's our monthly expenses. Hey, we didn't go broke. That's good. As we're gonna have Miss Kitty start yowling at the window again. Hey, Miss Kitty. I know. Tell me, tell me what's outside. All right, so what's our production report here? Cost this month, a lot. What did we get? Actually, some little frigates, that's pretty nice. No, I need you to not jump on my printer. All right. Yes, I know. I know, it's just not fair. Why are you, why are you following me? You just saw me blow up your friends. Bounty ended with Brighton. I guess technically, oh, uh, you know what? I probably, I was watching last episode just while editing it and I didn't realize. I'm actually, I thought I was hostile. I'm actually inhospitable. So we'll have to fix that with Brighton pretty soon. All right, so we're almost we're almost here. Can actually take a slipstream like we wanted to before. What is up here? They're waiting, waiting for what? Waiting for nothing apparently. Where is the rest of my Where is the rest of my stuff? I almost want to take a look at this red giant at some point too because one of the comments from the episode where I ran out of gas and got pulled in the urid was check out the unexplored red super or the red dwarf you said red giant but I assume you mean the red plant the red star here just to see what we could get that 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 is a viable move the risk reward analysis says it's better to scuttle and go for what you know than potentially get busted with the same situation anyway oh we have a we have an intersection so we should be able to follow a lot of this through. Here we go. Add another fleet down here. And just like that. And probably fly through here, okay. There's only a few hyperspace storms. You know what, I blamed myself for getting rocked before, but I bet I was just holding down shift and not pressing S, so. And we have a big fleet there. I really hope it's my privateer fleet. All right, so what do we got? Let's look at accepted one more time. 46 days. All right, so we definitely... We could go ahead and colonize, I guess. Maybe. Let's get some more capital and finish the stuff, and then maybe Hantu Raya. We can colonize it afterward, because we still, we still have a lot of rolling debt with our construction. 
So one one project at a time, especially when we're going to get a chunk of change taken out from our bottom line here by what we're about to have to do. All right, so, and the ISS Europa. A uh, theory that I got from somebody before is that these will be repaired last. And I know I keep adding ships with demods. And it looks like... It looks like that's going to continue to be an issue. Alright, that's fine. So we still need to upgrade... See, like, I want to build a fourth colony, but we kind of got other shit to upgrade too. So let's do this. We can go to the colony info... Shouldn't be any problems for me to install an alpha core here. Um, hypercognition, 10 accessibility, 20 fleet size, 50% effectiveness of ground um, defenses and stability, and of course, it invites the um, the H crowd, the hegemony, to um, inspect our planet, and we can't remove that very well ourselves. So, this is fine. Should be in a much better place. So now we have. Another thing here, let's go to uh, colony storage. So in the storage we have this thing, these things. All right, so this is this is all well and good. Um, we're, we could probably use to get a little more crew, so hello. We probably don't need more Marines right now, but let's go ahead and get this out of here. So that must be from the raiding that we've done. That's the only thing I can think of. And man, we have some cool weapons just sitting in here. We have resource stockpiles out the butt. We actually don't really need more fuel. We're going to need a few more supplies. I think probably a thousand's fine. One mistake I made last episode is that I bought on the open market. And let's look at the open market right now. Like, the supplies here cost a little less, but we have to pay in tariffs. That's why you have your unit price up there. It is more expensive to do that. Um, so that's that's an issue. But we have, we have a lot of supplies here. If we look at our colony info here and our commodities, we're, we're very good in the market for stuff. A lot of stuff. And I do not have my usual profile of, like, building things. Void extractor with an alpha core. Doing a good job. Can I make improvements for two story points to increase stability by one more? It um, requires four story points. That's that's a pretty big ask for one stability. <sighs> All right, well, we'll start with this. As we upgrade some of our other stuff, it should work pretty well. So. What's it? Oh, first off, let's see what's on the open market for ships. Oh my god, we got a swimmer. We'll never we'll never see these things in the wild, but it's nice to see them here. Uh That's fascinating. So this has a ground support package. Holds 200 crew. We do need more troop ships. I'm not going to buy it today. That's not really our focus. Okay, so we have all these busted up ships, including the Bright Future, including the Grim Bremer. These are things, and we have two cassowaries that I haven't even played with. They're 42 deployment points, but I think they're still just a regular battleship instead of a super capital. Um, let's see here. We did have some custom production. But I don't know... Like, obviously, we're going to go ahead and um, bring you out. And then we're going to um, we're going to bring all the Brighton stuff out. All right. I guess we could bring you guys too, the nor the no lashers. Let's give it a shot. Those have kind of been sitting in there for a while. We have some other storage vehicles. We do need to change our uh, naming convention here. Um, I, I'm going to do that eventually, but not too far in the future. I just honestly want to wait until this stuff here is finished building. And we still got some time before that finishes. 
like the stars of the show, things like the stalker, the apogee. Those are going to take some time to work, and we need to actually make sure that our income is such that it's fine. We had a lot of debt last month. We apparently have some cargo that I forgot about here, so that's as good of a reason as any to try to visit there later and see, but I think we're okay. All right, so let's... Do I repair this now? Do I repair this now? I, th You know what? Let's, let's get a little crazy. We're just going to go ahead and auto-fit you, and we'll make you a quick strike ship. And we're going to go ahead and auto-fit you with expanded deck crew. I kind of don't want to because stuff, but we're going to do it anyway. And we'll call you an attack ship. And it has all kinds of goodies on it. And expanded missile racks as well. That could be that could be a promising ship for any of these officers stuck on smaller ships with a big missile profile. Not necessarily Captain Martin, but like by night. That could be good. Yeah, I think we gotta give it to Ugg. There we go. Then over here, Vonzer servicing Jantry. So clearly we need to take better better care of the Vonzer stuff, assuming we have anything here. So that's a that's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a bummer. So let's see let's see what we can pack on. Like we have one support Vonzer. And um is that it? I like I like the seventh I like the shock troopers. Like we already have kind of one guard here. Yeah, that'll be fun. Is it gonna be any good? I have no idea, but it'll be fun. Alright, so Gotta move gotta move all these ships up because ship organization is my goal. How am I doing? We may be a little bit over our cruiser destroyer cap. I'm gonna once everything's built, I'm gonna figure figure that out but we can have as many frigates as we want so that's one reason I wish I could select multiple of these at the same time instead of having to just up and down and up and down but once we get this set done then we're gonna build another Halbmond and that way we can officially start doing like the whole Rosenritter package of having a whole bunch of crap out there destroying the universe so here we are here's our fleet do you need anything else you're already weaponized. I think we actually have all of our officers on places. Is Victor Cernos going to be better serving somewhere else? I think Carol Lunark definitely would be. So who's got who's got the good gun skills? Like we want to have some officers on some of these smaller ships for sure. Let's put let's put Victor here because we got power rocket pods because that's fun. And then, you know, I know I was just saying, okay, by night reckless on a lamprey seems like a really big waste. She's, she's just really good. So let's put her here on the burrito. Space. I, you know what you know what sucks is that I'm gonna spell this wrong because bur burrito or burrito burrito is a word that I've always in my brain misspelled mispronounced and I'm gonna get it wrong here and someone's gonna be like ha, 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 ha. you can't even spell that food that you eat all the time we're gonna upgrade you to this we've got more ships for days and she's definitely earned her keep with some of the bigger ships we had before but um, we're running out of room. I could potentially swap out the beta core for um, an alpha core here, but I don't. I don't think that's the move. I want to hold on to that alpha core. We're not. I don't know if we're necessarily getting like anything better or worse than we were before. So let's see. We need how much crew? Need a little more crew. Maybe not that much crew. Yeah, eight hundred more is fine. 
and then we're gonna do our own repairs and we're gonna spend a lot of resources do we have enough we have a thousand I think a thousand is gonna be okay let's visit the terraforming rig it's right here okay so inner system jump point let's go and then we have the auric world as well so once again my goal here is gonna be very simple I do want to upgrade a lot of shit but in order to get that done I need to take care of some other business first so yeah let's start there so wand and Zabala is under um, rebellion in a place in a situation that I will just call not my problem we have ludic path watchers that are apparently watching is this really the best jump I don't think it is guess it doesn't really matter it's a tiny system Oh, savage tribes from the Kingdom of Terror have gained a permanent foothold on Juan and Zavala. So those are going to have mean populations permanently. So, Erin Eridani Utopia Terraforming Rig, a starship hull which dwarfs most stations. This ancient Leviathan was likely sent to terraform a nearby planet as part of some long-forgotten expansion planet may still contain functional terraforming equipment. Let's explore it and face the automated defenses we have a guardian wing guardian leviosa i guess this is definitely a fight that we can take i remember early on in the save where we had to ignore one of these i love having this many tiny ships it's so different from how i've been playing and it's so nice to have just just a whole just just like a little hornet's nest swarm we definitely didn't need to bring all these out but we're doing it anyway, because it's fun. And if I'm not having fun while playing Star Sector, why the hell am I playing? We're just going to do the Eliminate Order. Because who else is going to attack us here? Um, so here's everybody. Popping off. And uh, the Norlasher is getting hit hard. The Lamprey's getting hit hard. But we should be able to get us around. The idea of a Swarm Attack is that everybody gets in there and right now the thimble winner is doing a really good job defending me i think i'm out of range because this thing is this thing is realized oh shit i am really screwed there we go by the numbers maybe like the the easiest smackdown in all of smackdowns too bad i can't take that ship for myself so Molnir cannon, flat cannon, other stuff. And we got yet another commission. And now we can salvage the terraforming rig. And on there we get weather manipulation core. Again, allows permanent removal of a planet's extreme weather. That could actually be really useful if we want to colonize Hantu Raya. We're going to go ahead and just 50-50 that. Once again, for if you weren't watching last time, the reason that I kept both alpha cores and was able to keep both how alpha cores is because they were in use in another planet so clearly they are functional i think that is a logical justification and one that just outright makes sense so all these are gathered up here that's like the easiest money in the game i kind of want to just pop over to my um reuter buddy over here okay you already ran off so returning here with the organics or transplutonic ore we're getting organics from an uh, asteroid belt. Isn't that fun? So once again, we have lots of repairs going on. This time we will remember to properly travel through hyperspace without getting waxed. Maybe. We have, we have another Ordo. Okay. Oh, that's fine. You want, you want to play that way. I don't even let you put your beacon on. Let's just punch him out. Because once again, if you may have missed it a bunch of episodes ago, uh, I've sort of claimed the bottom right corner of space for myself. It's supposed to be an area of peace. And so to be an area of peace, that means that we need to take out any hostile entities that would dare call it their own. Which includes these assholes. If they just let me fly, I would have flown past them. And I guess technically this means I could try to make friends with the remnants by doing the whole thing with um, the free spaceport, whatever it's called. 
and chatting up Midnight Dissonant. The AI that in the last save actually, I kept screwing up his missions, so I couldn't get enough reputation to actually get to the meat and potatoes of the story. That's one of those little threads that is unfinished, and in this series I just want to go ahead and lay it out there that my goals here may look a little more nebulous right now. Um, the scope is a little bit grander, but I definitely don't want to just feel like I've left a game partially done. Now, with the whole thing last time, my big overarching goal was taking on and taking out the Vic. And we did that. So I guess I can't complain too much about it. But... Whew, we got some slow ships. All right. So it's not that we didn't totally accomplish our goals. It's just that our goals... There, there was kind of some side stories that I didn't complete. I kind of went to the end game and got to the end game. And there's a dead glimmer already because we've outran our support. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're actually going to crack back down here and go after this first. While well, all you slow butts try to move up here and cut off, cut off the exit. So let's engage, not eliminate. And let's see what we can get. Because this, believe it or not, is actually pretty dangerous. And see, now they're now they're gathering up. And I don't want to be the one to take you on. See, there we go. Look, we got we got one of our own. This may be the time for me to go ahead and expand my fleet and have another uh, remnant ship. I can do that a little bit. I may as well be using this ability too if everyone else is. Alright, so we have our massive line of ships versus their massive line of ships. And everybody's kind of running around like a chicken with their head cut off. So let's just pick somebody, somebody to kill up here. Let's make sure my goose doesn't get cooked over here. It shouldn't, by the way. Project Casimir is really good, if I can aim it. And we have some system damage. It's a little annoying. Okay, but once again, we bought it new. Doing some work. Okay. Little bit of a problem. Pretty big problem with the Fimble Winter kind of getting in the way, so now I gotta, I gotta back this shit up. Who's down here? That's one of theirs. Okay. All right, so we've got to we've got to kind of reorganize here, don't we? Okay, so it's funny how this fight's spreading out so much that we're actually having some problems. Let's go ahead and disengage you, and let's just go ahead and clean this up first, because they're gonna get distracted trying to take all these buoys. Yeah, the Rosen, all the Rosen Ritter ships are really good. That's one of our lessons here. Like, look at how much punishment that's taking. And then we got you guys up here. We got a whole got a whole pack of people just doing their stuff. We should be able to close in on all this. I, do I kill steel on the Fimble Winter? No, I, I don't have the speed to do that. I just don't want to be the first to engage over here. So these guys are not coming from behind. As tends to happen in remnant engagements, they're getting chased to the corner, so we can probably speed up a little bit. Because this thing, one of the nice parts about Wolfpack Tactics and flying a bunch of tiny ships is that the AI can sometimes get a little confused about what target it actually wants to attack. So, whew, it's a risky shot of the day. Times two. Okay. Should be fairly straightforward if I hit. There we go. So we're not totally dead, we're just partially alive. Mostly alive, even. And assault. So now we can pluck the weeds from the garden, since that's what we call this area. Our, our little space garden. 
One day I will have the money that I can just repair all the demods on that ship. But yeah, I think we're mostly done. Let's see what we got here. Oh boy, you're actually having some problems. Oh no. Don't tell me an uh, don't tell me an auto build did a bad job. That would never happen here. Like I said, the remnants are serious. You can't you can't underestimate them. So I'll have to figure out what I want to do with the space. Hopefully not misspelled burrito. But yeah, we win. And hopefully we can recover some good ships. Okay, so that's... We actually lost a bunch of little ships. That was a more dangerous fight than I gave it credit for. We could send the story point to get another Fresnel... Do we want one of these? Um, that looks pretty well rounded. Let's recover one. And then once again, we have we're gonna have some issues with supplies, which is why we didn't go too far from home. But let's go ahead and um, pause this. We've got a lot of repairs to do because we had some blown up shit here. Yeah, so apparently Space Burrito, um, with the Remnant Phase Lance and a Phase Lance, I don't know if that's the best the best use of these. I really like leaning into the missile stuff with this. So, like, I like I like this, assuming they have tracking. This one doesn't have tracking, so I don't like that as much. But we can we can workshop that. And we have another drone ship, and I didn't press S, so we're going to get shoved a little bit in space. Alright, so here's all of our repairs. Everything is going to be fine. We just have kind of a gross part of space to fly through here. It's like this every time. We've done this plenty of times before, except for the whole... I am just keep getting shoved. Almost there. I don't know if that's a space ghost or if we're actually getting tracked by somebody. Looks like that's a different fleet. Alright, so we're back down to zero. I knew that was coming. Just want to see again. Production report. Did we actually get production? Or did they say we were too broke? 57,000. So we got, we got our crabs. Hooray, crabs. Delicious. Okay, so where are y'all in the orbit? Still two o'clock position all right and we have a comm beacon here so I don't know if that's the uh, horrors from the um, HMI mod or what and we could we have activated this gate so sensor package for 90,000 huh. let's explore it and salvage like we can only use so much of this ship graveyard 90,000 again don't know why I'm leaving these things so that's a lot of money it's kind of hoping for some kind of rare drop here but we still have we still have some ships out here so cool just like that, we're in decent financial shape again. We have 500,000 worth of shit still. If I were to build another colony, we'll, we'll go back and look at Hantu Rai here before the episode's over. First off, since I am allowed to use these when it's absolutely necessary, right now we can go from the corner here to over here. That's actually a pretty nice jump. One thing I should do as we have cats going through things again. One thing I should do is try to activate more gates while I'm traveling, but it's fine. Do we have any other fun bounties or missions here? Not in our, not in our local area. We just finished these up. Um, cool. 
Independent Reuter Base location unknown. Cool. All right, let's head back. Bef preferably before we run out of supplies. And before I keep knocking myself into asteroids. All right. Oh, we got a quest marker. Pretty sure that's the plague. Yep. We're not interested in fighting them right now. We we're close to being able to fight them, but they're not they're not going to attack us. So just sometimes you got to let it be and we have space debris here or just a ghost. Probably just a ghost. Oh, no. Not just any ghost. Let's see if this goes the direction we want it to go. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, we lost it. Oh, that's really cool that it does it that way. And if you don't hit it right away, you miss it. Because we've hit a few of those. It almost feels, I almost hear like the Super Mario Brothers Starman music when flying through those things. I mean, if you grew up in the era where I grew up in the 80s and 90s and Nintendo was such an overwhelming part of kids' lives, kind of like it is again, which is not an unsurprising, but still kind of a weird 180 from how Nintendo faded into existence, or from existence and after the Super Nintendo era. Um, yeah, it's like, yes, people my kids' age, the age, they know what the Starman sound is too. All right, so we're back at Green. Let's take a look at Hantu Raya. We actually do have a conquest mission. The Reuter Union wants me to take out the Diktat's base. I mean, technically I can. Okay, we're just going to let it be for now. So let's see. Because it's about to be the end of the month, which means that all this well-earned money is going to go and disappear on me. So if we establish a colony, which we just need 200 supplies for. Once again, my issue is that it's going to take a lot of stuff here. And then what resource return are we going to get? We're not going to be able to install our drill here because this is a habitable planet. It is 175. We can get rid of extreme weather. Is that worth spending an item that's worth maybe 200,000 just to get rid of this? Maybe. I mean, if I could like physically build solar sails or I may have an item to actually get rid of high gravity too. Let's take a let's take a look back home real quick. I mean, it's it's all home at this point. But if we're going to do colony number 4, as we have another salvage fleet doing doing salvage fleet things and we're actually near the end of the month so I could go wildly into debt before the beginning of next episode and then surprise myself as I love to do sometimes. Okay, I was about to say, when did I get an alpha core? Huh. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage here. I'm pretty sure one of those fights gave me an alpha core. I'm gonna have to coin flip. So that's that's really exciting. Because that's the first alpha core in the wild we have had in a while. So So our resource stockpiles are here. Our storage is up here. Forgot how to play this game. So we have we have a few of these. I could definitely could definitely sell one. We have a stellar reflector core allows permanent manipulations of the light levels. Interesting. We have a bomb here, which gets rid of that stuff. Plasma dynamo. We can't use that because we don't have, well, we can't use that in this system because we don't have a source of volatiles. Well, it's, it's worth, it's worth thinking about. And hold on to this. So we can totally, we can totally cash out this stuff. I'll have to coin flip these, but I'll, I'll do it next time because we're getting we're getting pretty close to um, game time here so open market again it's 
It's a good price. It's a good enough price. Not the good enough price, but it doesn't really matter too much. All right, so hooray. Then how many more do I want to get? Maybe that's fine, and then I'll just fill her up. That's a lot of money we'll be spending at the end of the month. But that is a risk I'm willing to take. So if we look here at, at um, this colony real quick, I don't know if we can see exactly... Ooh, wrong. It's I, I always... It's always interesting because we have to go from this page to press Q to go to the colony info if we want to add another structure. And once again, I did mod this to where um, we're not getting like dinged every time for building something else here. But we have some other structures we can build. I'm curious if we can actually build reflectors or something but i'm not too sure like i said we have we have all of our industries here probably need to actually build well there's like 50 things i need to build it's fine but yeah we're um we are in a very good position right now once this fleet builds granted we're about to go bankrupt another month and we are going to go ahead and, um, I don't know. I could make this work. If we keep this in our fleet, let's unmothball it for a second. If we keep this in our fleet, what happens to the combat readiness of this ship? Maximum combat readiness is still 96. So if we look here... That's 27 points and 22 points. And if we look at our character skills, we've almost unlocked super capitals. Maximum of 120 points or less of total automated ships. So your fleet's total is 103. So we'd, we're still okay. And everyone will have maximum there. That's nice. Well, that'll do it for this one. This is Asher with even more Star Sector. Like I say, as always, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Tell me what directions would be interesting for you all to see, I guess. I mean, I know, I know what I want to be doing, and it involves going back to the core worlds and constantly setting things back in order. And we have some big ticket items in the other corners of space to figure out, but I guess the only other thing to say is smash that bell. No, no, don't, you don't have to hit the notifications button. It's totally fine. I appreciate y'all popping in here, popping out. Uh, this series is supposed to be built in a way where, yeah, if you miss something, it's cool. I'm not going to sit here and beat you over the head with Star Sector because that's, I guess that's the Remnant's job. I don't know. But that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again soon. You all take care.